Hi you guys, in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you some perfect delicious side dishes for your Easter gatherings. Whether you're going to a potluck or if you're hosting at your house and you need some side dish ideas to go with your main course, I've got you covered. I'm gonna list them all in the description box if you wanna jump straight to a certain one. It'll take you there and it'll take you straight to that part of the video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click subscribe. Tons of videos for you guys. I love sharing them with you each week. So make sure you subscribe. All right, I'm gonna get all these side dishes all made up to show you. I hope you have a really awesome Easter coming up. It is almost here. I'm so excited to be spending time with family and friends and my kids love Easter, it's just so fun. So let's get cooking. First, I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts with bacon. I have some garlic maple syrup. This gives it such an awesome sweet flavor and some olive oil. So I am going to bake all of this in my oven. I like to cut my Brussels sprouts in half and it just gives them a good size to cook nice and evenly. These are some pretty big Brussels sprouts, so depending on your size, um, you can cut them either in half or sometimes even in quarters if you'd like. So I'm going to use four pieces of bacon and I'm just using my kitchen scissors to cut little pieces, little chunks, and then I'm gonna spread it all over the Brussels sprouts. And bacon and Brussels are such an awesome combination together. I'm gonna add in some olive oil and I am gonna add in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I just buy this garlic already minced, it's way easier for me, but you can definitely mince your own. I'm going to give it a toss with my tongs, get it all nice and coated with the olive oil, mix up that bacon, and now I'm going to add on some maple syrup and this is just such a good combination with the bacon and the brussels just gives it that sweetness and these are very addicting so so good a wonderful side dish for your easter gathering so i'm going to cook them for 35 minutes in the oven at 350 come out absolutely perfect I'm gonna be doing a corn salad and very simple ingredients, corn, cheese, Fritos, chili cheese, corn chips, okay? So I have two cans of corn. I have half of a diced onion. I like to dice it up pretty small, um, but up to your preference. I'm going to add in, I have cheddar cheese. I'm going to use one cup of cheddar cheese and then I'm also going to use one cup of mayonnaise. So super simple, five total ingredients for this, and it is really, really good. Definitely not the healthiest side dish out there, um, so you can definitely do a veggie side dish, nice healthy one as well to pair with this one, but it is really, really great. Perfect for potlucks. And like I keep saying, it is really easy, but the flavors with this together, so the corn and the cheese and then the creaminess of the mayonnaise. And then when I add the, the Fritos chips on, it really is a game changer, gives it a really awesome crunch. And then the chili cheese, make sure you use chili cheese flavored Fritos, not the originals. You could, but it just definitely wouldn't be the same flavors. So mix all of the corn and the mayonnaise and cheese and everything together. Give it a good mix. And then you're not going to want to add the Fritos on until you're ready to serve this because you don't want them to get soggy at all. It definitely lasts a while, but if you're gonna not gonna have this for a little bit, wait until you're ready to eat before you toss in these Fritos and just keeps them extra crunchy and extra delicious. This salad is such a hit with our family. We make it all the time, especially springtime, summertime. Great with a barbecue. I'm going to be doing green beans in my crock pot. So I have washed the green beans and I have trimmed them and cut them in half. That's how I prefer to have our green beans. I'm going to use one and a half cups of, I'm using chicken broth, but you can use vegetable broth as well. I'm going to add in some onion powder as well as some garlic powder. 
for the seasonings on this you can also add a little bit of salt and pepper if you'd like I don't add a lot of salt and pepper to my dishes just because that's my preference so add in the seasonings of your choice and I am going to mix this up a little bit give all those seasonings um, just get it mixed into all the green beans and like I said this is so easy such a great way to cook green beans on the crock pot I love doing crock pot for family functions and entertaining because it just cooks and you don't have to worry about it. So I have some cooked bacon and I'm going to just cut it up with my kitchen scissors. It is greasy, but I'm adding in um, some cooked bacon. I have actually, I have eight pieces of cooked bacon. So you can add it. I like a lot of bacon. So I added a lot into this one because it just makes it so good. Bacon and vegetables are such a great combo. <laughs> So I'm going to cook this on high for four hours. You can also cook this on low for eight hours. Comes out really, really good. The green beans are perfect, nice and tender. I definitely like my green beans a little bit on the softer side. I don't like them too crunchy. So this cooks really great steaming in there with the broth. So really great side dish and in the crock pot is just so easy. So I'm using the crock pot again and I'm gonna do mashed potatoes. So I have five pounds of potatoes that I have peeled and diced up. I'm gonna use my better than bouillon, which I always use to make chicken broth. So I'm gonna use a cup of chicken broth. You can just use regular chicken broth um, that you buy pre-made as well. I'm gonna add in a stick of butter. I know it's a lot of butter, but there's a lot of potatoes also. So adding in that butter and I'm going to cook these on low for eight hours and you can do high for four as well. I'm going to take this off. It is super steamy, um, but they have cooked really well and I just, they're so easy in the crock pot. I have half a cup of sour cream that I'm going to add in and I have half a cup of heavy whipping cream. If you don't have heavy whipping cream, you could use milk as well. I just prefer heavy whipping cream in this one. And I'm going to use my immersion blender and I am going to just whip all of these up. And this immersion blender is so awesome. I, I use it all the time for mashed potatoes and different soups and stuff. So mashing away, getting all of the lumps out, definitely still super hot and steamy on this one, but really good. I'm going to do some garlic butter mushrooms. Very, very easy. And you can kind of pre-make this and cook it when you're ready to eat. But I'm going to bake these in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. So I'm just going to cut up my mushrooms into quarters I'm using. Um, but you can cut them up to the size that you prefer. And mushrooms are such a great, nice, healthy side dish. I love making them. They're so easy and super yummy. And you can add all kinds of different flavorings into these. But I'm doing a garlic butter for this. And these are a huge hit um, with our family. And I love anything that's easy. So basically three ingredients for this. You cannot go wrong. So I'm mixing in melted butter into the garlic and the mushrooms. I'm going to give this a stir and I will add it into my Pyrex dish. And then I'm going to cook these in the oven, have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna cook these for about 25 minutes and they are delicious. I'm gonna do a crock pot mac and cheese. Like I mentioned, I just love using my crock pot for side dishes because you don't have to do much work and it just cooks while you're entertaining, so it's perfect. So I have my noodles, I'm using these little elbow noodles and I have one brick of cream cheese, makes this super awesome and creamy. I have two cups of, I use whole milk and I have evaporated milk as well. I'm using one can of evaporated milk. Gives it a really good kind of sweetness to this. And I have shredded cheddar cheese. I'm using four cups and I have shredded the cheese from a block. I feel like it melts better if you go ahead and shred it yourself. I love pre-shredded cheese that I get at the store, but it just doesn't melt the same. So I shredded four cups of just regular cheddar cheese for this. I'm gonna give it a little stir. It's not gonna stir well because the 
cream cheese is not melted or softened. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a little bit of a stir. You can cook this. Um, I cooked this on high for four hours and I stir about every 45 minutes or so to get all those cheeses all nice and melted and combined into the noodles. Like I said, my, my family, my kids love mac and cheese. So this one is really easy, really great side dish if you need something uh, kid friendly. So definitely a great one. Nice and creamy, really, really good texture. And you can use any kind of noodles you'd like for this. Um, super yummy and easy. So I hope that you enjoyed these side dish ideas to make for your Easter Hope you have a really great Easter. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hope that you have a really great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.